Hey there guys, welcome to Wayne's Cave. As you can see here, I've got my mount in a, in a compact version in, in the living room. I've been designing up a new setup of wiring looms because now I have a small Raspberry Pi computer Stellamate to set up. I've been going over a few designs trying to get a simple wiring setup that's relatively straightforward to set up and put away each time. Um, so I'm going to go with a mount loom and then a separate scope loom as much as possible so that I can handle two items separately. Um, and it's not too bad. So a quick run through. I now plug my mount via the handset to the Raspberry Pi computer, which is on top of the telescope, which gets mounted there. And we have also connected to the Raspberry Pi computer a, a guide cable and its power supply and obviously that's the mount that's the mount end so we have the mount and the grey guide cable and its power supply all coming from central locations there and then the guide camera and my DSLR which is on the windowsill over there those two cables will plug into the Raspberry Pi computer um, unit sort of separately as neat as I can um, just collectively on top of the actual telescope and guide scope but it, as you can see I, I've, I've actually taped so the uh, the two black wires, which is it, the the computer's power and the connection to my mount, and the grey wire, which comes out the side of my auto guiding port on my tele, uh, on my mount head, <coughs> and I've just woven it through for now because this is a dry run. I'm just going to set it up tonight as if. Uh, it's, it's forecast sort of 40% cloud on and off, but I'd like to, if I can, when it gets dark, just do a dry run with this loom. So all I've got to do is pick up all of this loom, connect it in, and I'm hoping I shall have enough movement each way, each way like this without too too much of bother uh, so I rest that on there on the top because that's where it lives I've done a couple of little things like a, the uh, velcro tape is quite handy because actually that loom would then sort of just hang around and I figured if I stuck a bit carried a bit of the weight of the loom and just stuck it I'm not even showing you and stuck it on the leg there that's there's some velcro tape right around there as a bit of a tab this is this is all progress in in hand but see as that that would hang normally it just sort of neatens it up a bit of velcro on there look and the rest of that loom goes up to the telescope about the height of the tripod there. So it should be able to freely move around as it slews. Um, and also the handset, I figured it's part of the loom now. So rather than feeding it, feeding the, the computer lead through the bottom of there like it has to, I just done. A, I've done away with that temporarily to see how I get on because I've just backed that. I've just backed that handset. It's just quite easy, you know, when you want to quickly 
do your stuff with that to get calibrated and all the rest of it which I'm sure I'll suss out how to do all of that setup procedure on the computer in, in time but uh, you know you can just throw it on there and it stays and so that's the loom basically it's only sort of three cables going up to the scope from from down here and then to power it all I've, I'll have two batteries one there and one there they both take these 12 volt DC uh, plugs and then because up here on the on the tool tray that's just some extra power cord that uh, to the mount that I've bundled up it's just hanging hanging off of off of the tool tray but in essence I've got two two powers here one, one here and one here and you can see both here are extender sockets here's two USB 2.1 amp I believe they are um, power outs and in the front of this white one there's also one two three 12 volt sockets and as you can see here there's one two three 12 volt sockets and another two USB power outs so one of them goes to the Raspberry Pi Stella Mate um, compact unit that one is my mount power which goes nice and neat just now it's short straight in so out of the tray just straight into the mount and that's you know that's uh, just nice and tidy don't need to that's one power cord I don't need to mess around with I don't have to undo that every session now if I can just wheel this open tripod in and out the front door with a bit of careful maneuvering but the plan is I use two batteries I just the white one I power two dew band heaters because they're surprisingly juicy and I've got a battery I've quite a beefy battery that I've converted and put a socket that'll accept my 12 volt socket so that goes bang into the that battery and then a, a pretty standard power pack and that will run the power to my mount which is that and uh, the USB which is just coming out the top of that out the top of that uh, basically socket extension and there's the USB there I don't know if you can see just just there that's the USB coming round um, in the loom up to the Raspberry Pi. So in essence, I've got like all my sockets. They're all Velcroed on then. They're just good thick amount of Velcro so that they can't like be knocked slid off of there. Um, which I'm sure plenty of you know, you put, you know, interferometers and things on like that as you're carefully photographing your subject and, and yeah things can slide off that tray easy but as you can see look they're velcroed in position so they can't easily be you know knocked off they're uh, both velcroed there of course sturdy in place look so at the end of the day I've just got to take this rig outside put my two batteries in position under there um, then put obviously put my counterweight the scope in position and just carefully button up the pieces so to speak with the with the rest of the wiring just plug it in as needed with the loom coming around to the top of the setup um, so that's the the design in essence uh, I'll get back with you when uh, I've got some practical use going with it okay guys nice to catch up with you guys and I hope you're having extremely good crazy good Astro sessions keep at it and all the best